Hello everyone! In this lesson, we are going to solve some situational problems involving parabolas. So, dito, we will apply all the concepts na natutunan natin about parabola. Okay? So, here, I have prepared two sample problems. So, isosolve natin ito mamaya. Pero bago yan, I want you to solve muna these problems on your own. So, pwede niyong i-pause mo na itong video. And if you are done answering, you can continue watching and check if you answered the problems correctly. Okay, so let's have problem number one. A satellite dish has a shape called a paraboloid where each cross-section is a parabola. Since radius signals parallel to the axis will bounce off the surface of the dish to the focus, the receiver should be placed at the focus. Now, how far should the receiver be from the vertex if the dish is 12 feet across and 4.5 feet deep at the vertex? Okay? So, para mas maintindihan at ma-analyze natin itong problem, let us first sketch the diagram of this problem on the xy plane. So, suppose this is our xy plane and we have here our parabola. So, our parabola is 12 feet across and 4.5 feet deep at the vertex. So, here, we let our vertex be at the origin. Okay, so makikita natin dyan. We let the vertex be at the origin para mas madaling isolve itong problem mamaya or para makakabuo tayo ng simpler form ng standard equation mamaya. That's why we let the vertex be at the origin. Now, sabi sa problem, the radio signals daw will bounce off the surface of the dish to the focus. So, therefore, we must place the receiver at the focus of the parabola. So, suppose this is the focus of the parabola, yan. So, therefore, we have these radio signals. So, yan. Okay? So, every radio signal will bounce off to the focus. Now, ang problem ngayon is to find the distance from the receiver to the vertex. So, itong distance na to ang hinahanap. Now, let's go back sa concept na natutunan natin sa parabola. Di ba yung distance ng vertex to the focus? Yan lang yung focal length, right? Now, ano ba yung focal length sa parabola? Yun lang yung value ng C sa standard equation, right? So, therefore, ang hinahanap ng pala ng problem dito ay yung value ng C sa standard equation. So, we have there yung C. Siya yung hinahanap. Okay? So, therefore, we can now um, solve the problem using this um, equation since we let our vertex be at the origin, okay? And we have our parabola opening upwards, so the equation will be x square equal to 4cy, right? Okay. Now, para masolve natin itong c dito, okay, para masolve natin itong c dito, we need the values of x and y, right? At sino ba yung mga x and y sa standard equation? Those are points on the parabola. So, mga points lang yun sa parabola. So, therefore, we must find a point here in our illustration sa parabola. And take note from this illustration, makakakita tayo ng isang point dito at we have this one. This point has the coordinates 6, 4.5. Okay? San galing yung 6, 4.5? So, take note that the parabola is 12 feet across, right? So, it is 12 feet across, yan. So, therefore, from the origin, going here is 6. And from the origin, going here sa left is also 6. So, we have negative 6 here. So, we have the x coordinates sa right na 6. So, we have 6, right? And take note the depth of our um, parabola is 4.5, right? So, we have the value of y 
4.5. So from that, we can now solve the problem by substitution lang. So we will substitute here our x be 6 and our y be 4.5. Okay? So from that, by substitution, this equation now will become our x is 6, so we have 6 square equal to 4c times our y is 4.5, right? So from that, we have 6 square is 36 equal to 4 times 4.5 is 18, right? So we have 18 times c. Solving for c, we will just divide both sides by 18. So we have now c equal to 2. So we have now the value of our c and that is equal to 2. Thus, we now have our conclusion. Thus, the receiver okay, should be placed placed two feet away from the vertex. Okay. So we have that conclusion. So we have answered now problem number one. Now let's have problem number two. The cable of a suspension bridge hangs in in the shape of a parabola. The towers supporting the cable are 400 feet apart and 150 feet high. If the cable at its lowest is 30 feet above the bridge at its midpoint, how high is the cable 50 feet away horizontally from either tower? Okay, so the same with what we did sa problem number one, we will first sketch the diagram of this problem on the Cartesian plane. So, suppose this is our xy plane, okay? Now, suppose we let um, our bridge lie on the x-axis. So, the x-axis now becomes our bridge. And our y-axis be on the middle of the bridge. So, sa gitna ng bridge ay yung y-axis. So, therefore, these will be our towers, okay? So, we have our towers here. They are 400 feet apart. Since they are 400 feet apart, from the origin to the right is 200. And from the origin to the left is also 200. So we have negative 200 here. And the towers are 150 feet high. Okay? Now, from, based on the problem, the cable down at its lowest is 30 feet above the bridge. Since our x-axis is um, the bridge. And the lowest point is located at the midpoint of the bridge. So therefore, from the origin, we will move 30 units above. So our point now is this one. So we have this point, 0, 30. So from that, we can now construct our parabola. We will just connect the two towers. Okay, It will pass through the lowest point and that lowest point will be our vertex right so from that we now have this parabola that opens upward with its vertex 0 30 since the vertex is 0 30 our h now is 0 our k is 30 okay and since it opens upward our equation now will be x minus h quantity square equal to 4c times the quantity y minus k, right? So from that, since we already have our vertex, so we can just substitute. So this will become x minus 0, our h quantity square equal to 4c times the quantity y minus 30, right? So from that, we now have x squared equal to 4c times the quantity y minus 30. So from here, we need to know the value of this 4c. Okay, para meron na tayong standard equation. 
Okay? So, para ma-solve natin yung 4C dyan, we need the values of this X and this Y. Okay? Para pag-substitute ng X, Y, si 4C na lang yung matitira. And ano ba yung mga X, Y? Those are points on the parabola. So, hahanap tayo ng point dito on the parabola from our illustration. So, from the illustration, you can actually see two points there. You can have this point nasa left and itong nasa right. So, since isang point lang ang kailangan natin, so yung nasa right na lang, right na tower na lang yung kukunin natin, this point. So, it has the coordinates 200 and 150. Okay? So, our x here is 200 and our y is 150. Okay, so therefore, by substitution, okay, by substitution, there, so we substitute our x and y, so we have 200 square equal to 4c times 150 minus 30. There, so we have 200 square is 4,000. Okay, equal to 4C, right? Times 150 minus 30 is 120. Okay, so there. Okay, now to solve for 4C, we will divide both sides by 120, right? So dividing both sides by 120, 4C now is equal to 4,000. Divide by 120 in lowest term, that is just 1,000 over 3. So therefore, we now have the value of 4C. Thus, the, the standard equation is we have x squared equal to 1,000 over 3 times y minus 30. So, ito ngayon ang gagamitin natin to solve the problem. So, balik tayo sa problem. Ano ba yung hinahanap? So, ang hinahanap dito is the height of the cable 50 feet away horizontally from either tower. So, kuha tayo ng distance there. So, 50 feet away from either tower. So, ito 50 nandito. Yan, 50. And sa left naman, we also have 50. Okay? So, we have here 50 sa right, 50 sa left. So, therefore, yung hinahanap natin ay itong height na ito. So, itong nandito ang hinahanap. Okay? So, from that also, we can um, have another point on the Parabola. So, we have this point. Actually, dalawa sila. But we can just choose one. So, we will choose this one. So, it has the coordinates 150 and y. Bakit 150? Ito, take note, yung distance from the origin to the tower is 200. So, um, we deduct 50. So, ang matitira is 150 na lang. So, dito, 150 siya. Okay? So, we have 150y. So, therefore, ang hinahanap lang natin ay yung value ni y. Right? So, we have our x. So, we can now solve for y. Okay? So, by substitution ulit. Okay? By substitution, dito na lang. By substitution. There. So, we have our x is 150. So, 150 square equal to 1,000 over 3 times the quantity y minus 30. There. So, what is 150 square? That is just 2, 2, 5, 0, 0, right? 22,500 equal to 1,000 over 3 times y minus 30. Now, we will eliminate this 1,000 over 3. So, we will multiply both sides by 3 over 1,000 para mawala yung 1,000 over 3, right? So, 3 over 1,000 there. Here also, we have 3 over 
1,000. So, multiplying, we now have this one. So, dito tayo. So, 3 over 1,000 times 2, 22,500. That will be, um, that is 15, 1, 7, 6, 7, 5, right? Then, you have 0, 0 over 1,000 equal to y minus 30 na lang. And this is just equal to 67.5 equal to y minus 30. Therefore, y now is equal to, so we have 67.5 plus 30. And that is equal to 97.5. Therefore, the height now of the tower, 50 feet away horizontally. Oh, no, the height of the cable, 50 feet away horizontally from either tower is 97.5 feet. Okay, so we have this answer. Okay, so that's it. We have answered the uh, two sample problems. I hope may natutunan tayo sa... Lesson ngayon. Thank you for watching.